Hey, hey, well, I'm back. Blessed morning to you, everyone. This is this is the strategy behind the brand. The strategy behind the brand, hosted by Nicole Streets and myself, right here on Instagram Live. The strategy behind the grand, the behind the gram, the strategy behind the brand today is the kickoff to the strategy behind the brand and when you talk about the brand are you the brand is you, do you, are you building a brand and there's a strategy to it right there's a strategy to what what we're doing and oftentimes we forget the strategy we forget that the, to even implement a strategy we think hey we're just going to start our businesses but there's a strategy behind it right there's a strategy so what's the strategy? We're gonna hear. We're here to talk about it today. Nicole, you ready? Nicole, you ready? Front page Nate says, "Good morning, all. Good morning to you. Happy Love Day to you. Happy Love. Where's my love? There you go. Happy Love Day to you." All right, Nicole is coming on today. Today is the kickoff to the strategy behind the brand. And we're going to find out what, what a strategy strategy is. Nicole's going to break that down, what a strategy, strategy actually is. And then we're going to go into our topic, right? We're going to go into our topic. So, hey, Nicole Street's in the building. Hey. Happy Valentine's. Happy <laughs> Valentine's. Happy Love Day to you. It is Love Day. It's God's Day of Love every day. So happy Love Day to you. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are gifted. You are talented. I am proud of you. Thank you. And I love you. you. I love you more. Yes. 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 <laughs> so how are you this morning? How did how did this how did your morning go? Okay. Okay. Well, I had I had a. A great morning. I woke up on time. I made it to the gym. That's got so the funny. kids off the school. Got some little treats for the teachers because we love our teachers, right? Yeah. You know, it's it's these these holidays and things like that. You know, I try to think of other people and you know how can I make their day better because you guys make my day so great. So you know, we watch you in the morning, Shelly. Today I didn't watch you, but you know that energy in the morning of love and being you know um, giving and you know those things. Things, you know they, they transfer into our lives so you know me watching you guys talk about us being obedient and you know all, obviously thinking of other people other than ourselves so I was like let's go get some cupcakes for the people that stand outside mm -hmm. for the people that stand outside mm -hmm. and escort the children in because they always focus on administration people what about the people that allow them to get in safe so I made sure I got them some cupcakes Oh, you're so sweet. Yes, yes. So glad that you're taking care of. Listen, God says what you do to the least of them, you're doing it unto me. So every person counts. Every person matters. Every single person on this planet matters, even your enemies, because we're supposed to pray for our enemies. But we're going to get it. We, we're doing business right now. We're talking business today. Today is the strategy behind the brand. Oh, what is that? That's all your love gifts? Somebody gave you all that? <laughs> I gave it to myself. I know that's right i'm gonna i'm gonna put the love up for this i know that's right it says kiss, mm -hmm. kisses are 25 cents so kisses are 25 cents she got the kissing booth but oh my gosh thank god for being able to love on yourself and i'm loving on you so you are amazing you're gifted you're all of those things and you have to we have to say we have to talk to ourselves very kindly mm -hmm. every day but today more importantly if you are saying i needed a boo i needed somebody talk to yourself kindly you are you are beautiful you are handsome for for my women, you are beautiful. For my men, you are handsome. Mm -hmm. You look good. You look good. No matter you're wearing man or woman, I'm saying to both of y'all, men and women, you look good. And then to the women, good morning, gorgeous. Good morning. Today our topic is what? Uh, what is it? What is it? What is our topic? Brand boost, proven strategies to elevate your business with expert coaching and courses. So we're going to dive into that. So. Uh, Nicole is Nicole Strategy Agency. Tell me what a strategy really is. Okay, so a strategy is basically a blueprint to help you to get to where it is that you want to go. So it's creating a plan. Some people call it a plan. Um, but it's, it's the, the steps that need to be taken in order to get to that destination. Um, there is a, a Webster's Dictionary version I don't have in front of me, but <laughs> it's really for me. It's just, you know, creating a plan for my clients and, you know, um, looking at, 
what we'll need, the tools we'll need. So that's included in the strategy, the people we need, and, you know, a lot that will allow us to execute and get the job done. Absolutely. So the importance of having a cold strategy agency is because most people think, okay, I have this idea. But then they're like, well, how do I bring this idea to life, right? How do you bring the idea to life? Yeah. <laughs> you need a strategy. And most people, they dream of doing things. And, you know, a lot of people have great ideas and they never pursue it. And so here we challenge you to pursue it. I mean, I, I, I can say myself, there's been so many ideas that I've heard people say or ideas that I might have said. And then I see it a couple months later. You be like, hey, I remember like something with like somebody was saying, what if it was a service where, um, you get snacks and stuff delivered to your door, something like that. And then it came, Gold Puff came, or all these other, you know, um, businesses started that people used to laugh about and say, oh, I should do that, and they never did it. And look, those companies are doing it. So there's no idea that that should go and and. And pursue if you have a goal or something you really want to do you should challenge yourself with my help your help a coach to really do it and that's where we come in at we take information from you we you know we assess you we we find solutions it's, it's great benefits to having a coach and we'll get into that later absolutely we're going to get into that but but i wanted everybody to understand like there's the strategy you have a business you have a you have this idea and you like I as I don't know. So the number one the number one thing to do first, if you don't know, you you go to someone who does. Never take advice for a player who never played the game. So if it, it how how can you go to someone who's never played the game? You might go to your, your homeboy, homegirl down the street and then they be like, Well, I, it's a great idea, but they don't they may not know. So everybody I know who's great has a coach. And I'm talking about if you want to go back to Kobe Bryant. Had a coach, Allen Iverson. Had a coach. All of them. The sport. Every sports player has a coach. Why do you think they have a coach? <laughs> Why do you think they have a coach? Okay. Right. So if the sports player have a coach and they the ones out there, you know, going up and down the field, going mm -hmm. <laughs> saying the ball, they have a coach because a coach will keep them in line. Even if a coach may not have already played all of the positions, they understand you need the guidance. You need the structure. So what, what what does the coach mean to you, Nicole? Well, I think you summed it all up. You know, it's really having that person that's going to push you to be your best, to challenge you. To I've had my personal trainer this morning who could be, he's a coach too. And he's like, give me 10 more. And I was angry, but like, I know in the long run, it's going to pay off. So a coach pushes you. You know, they challenge you. They help you see things that you may not see. Um, they can see the potential in you when you don't. Um, they they connect you with, you know, we go above and beyond. You know, in my coaching program, we go above and beyond to really support you in whatever it is that you're trying to do. And, you know, a lot of times that does mean bringing in Shelly. That does, because that was, I did a podcast last night. One of the questions I was asked, well, since you don't, you don't have a, a special area that you uh, have a special niche. I tell people it's universal, but if I have to call in reinforcement, I have relationships with people that specialize in certain areas, like you, communications, media. So we have Shelly, who, if you need that, but the foundation is the mindset and the infrastructure. So that's where I help you at. Do you have a plan? What's the vision? You know, you know, who's your team players? Do you have, you know, the assessment, finding out, you know, what it is that you want. Also making sure that your mindset is ready because people don't, people, it, it, you'll stop at phase one. As I go into the five phases at, at later today, you'll see, and I've, I've learned that a lot of people stop at, the journey but there's three phases before that. that that's the awareness you understand what you're getting into i understand we have a plan you know well, before the plan there's the conversation so there's the awareness you being aware that you have a problem you don't have all the answers so being aware and being you know being honest with yourself really saying hey i really need the help i'm short-staffed or you know i'm overwhelmed you know so being aware that it's okay to not be okay and to be aware that you do need help so that's the first thing that people have to be honest 
for themselves. Then it's the vision. Where do you see yourself? Where do you want to go, right? And clearly identifying it allows myself as a coach and you to start to plant that seed and bring it into life. It's not just me, it's you too. So, you know, a lot of times people think that we can change things. No, we're helping you. I tell people, it's your baby. We're just helping you deliver it because you need somebody to help you deliver that baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, and then we, you know, the plan. Okay, so after we made that we're aware, our mindset is ready, we have the vision, we know where we're going, let's plan it. So I'll stop there. Planning, planning, planning leads to progress, but we'll pick up on the other steps later. We're going to we, we, be talking about a lot of stuff later. Look, we can talk about it now. Listen, we got we got a good 30 minutes and we got a good, this is a 30, this is a power 30. So in this power 30, the goal is to, to help you understand how, uh, how coaching and courses can elevate your brand. So if, if you come to a coach, if, if you start here, now you have this idea and you're like, listen, I'm looking for a coach. Oftentimes I hear that people, I don't trust them. I don't know them. I don't this. There's so many coaches out there. I just did a, I did a video talking about, yeah, there's, 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 there sure is a lot of people telling you how to grow, grow their brand. There's so many people telling you how to do this. There's a lot. You see all the, all the ads popping up every single day and you're like, I'm not clicking on it because I don't know them. Yeah. And so my number one thought with that is, is I understand you got to find the voice that resonates with you and that get all into their culture. So if you want to know a tip on how to, how to find that coach or that course that is right for you is once you, you know, you see the ads, right? You see them, you see the people and you click on it and you listen for a minute you listen and you might take their free product or you might go to look look at some of their content go down to go down their timeline check out their content let me look at this let me look at this let me hear the voice if their voice resonates with you if it's something like listen i like the way they're talking i like i like what they're saying um it, it seems like me they seem to to fit with what i'm doing who i am and then you get into their culture and you start getting into their culture. And then, and then once you know, like, and then trust them, then you click on it and you pay for them, pay for their product. And that's pretty much how I would say my first, I'm trying to think of who was my first, my first one. I don't remember exactly who was my first coach because at this particular point I've paid, I was counting it up just for this. I wanted to count up all the money and all the courses I took. So I want to say at least at least eighteen thousand dollars in coaching in courses. So if I had to sit back and think about it, and you're saying, well, why would you spend that much money? Because <laughs> because it was, because it is it. necessary. It was worth it. Look at you. I mean, it, and you know, no, but this is but I was me. You know, I did Urban Expressions without a coach. I had a mentor, but once I. Once the, when I started out in Urban Expressions back in uh, those many years in the 90s, in the 90s, there was no one doing anything like remotely. There was not one person doing I have that. A not one question. <laughs> and they say no question is done. Now, I'm a, I'm a CEO. Like, I'm, I'm educating everything back. Can you please tell me the difference between a coach and a mentor? A coach is literally somebody who is guiding you through every step of the process. They are your, they are that person. They're your cheerleader when you need them. They're that, they're that, um, that person who's saying, get it together when you need them. That's that person guiding you through every step. The mentor is not somebody that is signed on that you might have not have paid for. That's somebody like I had a mentor, which was Walt Reed, what is, I said, what, what is Walt Reed Jr. So He's a mentor, so I don't pay for his time. I don't. Uh, I don't have a specified day that I talk to him. He's he's just somebody who guides me through when I need it. He's done it. He's successful. Check the replace. Okay. He's successful. However, I had to go to him. I, you know, he wasn't. He, he wasn't offering coaching back then. Although that's coming soon. But anyway, TMI. I mean, that's but uh. People may want to know, and I thought maybe and that as a sure. friend, you know, as a four friend. Asking for a friend, no, I'm just playing with you. But you're right, you used to you you do, and and some people will try to go. Some people will go the route and say, "Let me go get a mentor," and then they won't go coaching. Mm -hmm. You need both because they're not going to show up. That you know, when you have a coach, usually there's a contract, there's a legal bond. You know, uh, just showing you when y'all meet, but what y'all doing? A mentor is just, hey, I show up when I show up. You know, when <laughs> I give you whatever time I need. 
So <laughs> I thought that was a good question. It was a Do, great. Does anybody have question. any questions? That Please was feel question. free to 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 put in the chat any questions you have. I asked, what is the difference between a coach and a, a mentor? Because sometimes people may confuse the two. So any questions you have, put it in there. Um, in the chat, uh, we want you guys to engage with us too, because that's how we learn. That's how we come better by challenges that you're facing. Trust, you know, letting us know, hey, did, did you ever have a bad experience with a coach? Did you have a good experience with a coach? What have you learned from having a coach? You know, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, any questions or comments, please below. But I wanted to get back to your point, mm -hmm. Shelly. It's just like a relationship, right? When you when you hire a coach. Is that the first step is what we call in attraction. So they like you say, you hear their voice, you look at their timeline, it's attraction. So you're attracted to them, you see their style, you know, they is is you see yourself in them, you see something in them. And so that's the first phase. And then there's the communication, which is, you know, the conversation, the phone call, and things like that. And then if you make it past that. Then there's the intimacy, right? Not sexual intimacy, but I know it's Valentine's Day. Y'all minds in the gutter. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying intimacy as far as a relationship, right. uh, being with, you know, a, a business relationship. So those same steps go for hiring a coach. And I just wanted to let people know, you know if they're mm -hmm. looking for a coach, it starts with the attraction. You may be attracted to Shelly. You know what her skills are. Communications, media, and, no, public, but, you know. But that's not, you know what, that that's, the, you know what, I think sometimes that's the misconception. That's why you got to look a little deeper at certain people. You got to look a little deeper at them because I literally, my, my skill set was business. How I got where I am is all business. Ah. Urban Express, how I got where I am is business. I stand on business. No, let me say, I stand I know, on business. I mean, but I, no, no, yeah, no. I know. No, I know. I, I mean, people know you from urban so, expressions, but, but really. what I'm saying is, what the misconception is, is where I'm trying to lead people in is, there was there was a whole lot of people who came to urban expressions. It's a whole lot, right? Here's all these people. They're all interns, right? And they were they were fine with being an intern because they wanted to be on camera. I didn't want to be on camera. I didn't want no part to that kind of stuff. That's not what I wanted to do. I know it seems like it now because my gift rate made room for me, but literally the only way I'm where I am right now is my business. It was the business of me understanding how to make money and generate money, period. There would be no me. There would, you wouldn't have known me had I not continued. And, and a lot of us, like, so I showed, I showed this show and people keep them up the block. He, he will tell you to this day how I helped. I showed him how to make money at this thing. So the misconception is, it's just, I don't know. I'm a business. I'm, I was into business. I was like, listen, I went to school. I was, I'm in college and I don't want to be, I want to be, I want to get paid. Yes. You, you know, and they was happy being in, not, 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 not discrediting an internship. I think internships are amazing. But when, when I was there, I know I have college bills to pay off. I'm in school. I need. I'm. I'm. I'm a. You know, I'm a young buck. I. I. I'm. I've always been about that money. So I was like, wait a minute. How do I figure out a way to make make it mon make money? So you have to be able to tell the story first and foremost of who you are. So you see me in media, but I literally got here because sales was my sales was my superpower. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, sales is my superpower, and ha helping you grow your podcast or your radio show, your live stream, how, help, helping you get sponsors and things like that. That's my superpower. You have so much in common, so. But I, I think, too, That's I why think we were to say, to each other, attraction. And I was going to say, hey, you know, I think that um, when people – people some like you see how you said you were already thinking ahead we have to get into the mindset and i'm i'm almost done but to think in long term and for you know the future you said when you was in school that you was already you know thinking of five years ten years from now so i think people business owners dreamers entrepreneurs executives whoever you know is you know is on this live or is going to see this on a replay it's good that we start to think future in the future. Okay, I may not want to start a business right now and invest in a coach right now. I may not have the money. Can I set up an assessment with you? Just so that if I decide that I do want to get a coach 
or I need services, I know how that would look. I know how much it would cost. I know what it would look like, the process. I know what's entailed. And that's where the trust comes in at because you were talking about earlier how a lot of people have had bad experiences. Well, you want to look at, are they walking you through the steps? Are they having you provide documentation? You know, things like that are red flags. And then, the, like, Shelly, you know, we talked, research these people. I mean, I had an okay experience, but I didn't do research. I mean, something good came out of it. Many things came out of it. But had I not, had I done proper research, I probably would have been more comfortable with that purchase. And it was a large purpose, purchase, um, a, an investment. And Shelly was like, did you do your research? So I just feel like, you know, we have to, even as coaches, you know, do the same job that we're telling other people to do. Always be teachable. Always remain a person that's willing to learn, learn from your mistakes, uh, laugh about it, share. <laughs> and think, you know, like I was saying before, think for the future. Don't just think for today, right? And once we start to do that, I think we'll really reach our goals. We'll really feel empowered. And, you know, let, let's talk about courses, you know, because I believe, you know, even if you don't want to get a coach, what are some other things you can do in the short term to help you get to the level of coaching? And Shelly, you can tell us how you, you know, have these courses and what the process is and everything. So just let us know. So when I look at courses, like we all have our own learning style, right? Some mm -hmm. people need live persons, people uh, meaning live in person, like we're together. Some people can do the virtual live and some people can do the pre-recorded, here we go. I learned that my learning style is I can do the uh, virtual. I can do virtual. I'm good at virtual. I learned that that's my learning style. When you give me a video, I can't do it. Like I've paid a thousand dollars for a, a, a video course and it with a, with a prominent person and I can't get through it because I need connection. I need the person. I need to, I need to reach out and touch you. No, yeah. even even Me through too. the virtual screen, I need that. So first of all, understand your learning style. Because some people think, oh, let me give you this course. And then you're like, wait a minute, it didn't work for me because that's not your learning style. You got to understand how you, how you digest information. So first, that's the first and foremost. All right, listen, you see this person. Who's your favorite person? One of my favorite people is... Um, Dr. Cheryl Wood, <laughs> she one my she one of my favorite people. My my favorite uh, 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 I don't know what you would call it. She's a speaker, coach, and all that kind of stuff. But she's she's one of my oh, she's one of my favorite, right? So I see her on how how did she show up for me? She showed up for me via virtual. She was on uh she was on two different two different conferences, virtual conferences too. I saw her one day, and she was on Lisa Nichols, and she's one of my favorites too. See. You should have some favorites. Stay on, I'm writing so down. you should Listen have some favorites. So this is me. This is me always wanting to ele elevate. Um, for, first of all, being a constant state of wanting to elevate and and being a constant state of being a lifelong learner. I'm in a constant state. I'm never going to. I don't want to stay the same. I want to be all that God has me to be. So I'm I'm always looking at people. So first and foremost, Dr. Cheryl Woods showed up on Lisa Nichols' platform, right? She mm -hmm. shows up. And instantly, she said something that resonated with me. Instantly. It was like, yeah. she, I said, she's my person. Like, that's my like person. Where, yeah, yeah, I, I see. Like, that's my person. And, and, and that's, all I, that's all I said. So then the next day, the very next day, she showed up for Sisters in Business. I said, she goes again. And I said a quiet little prayer. And I said, God, I want to connect with her. Mm -hmm. But what made me feel her is virtually through the screen. Like she was able to show up and her presence came through the screen. That resonated with me. So how I found her was because she showed up on that screen. She showed up and she resonated with mm -hmm. me. Now, when it comes down to her courses, she did um, some free things because her price tag was pretty high. <laughs> but uh, let me get into the connection first. So then we go, I said, I said, I said a prayer. I said, God, I want to connect with her. So I wrote an article and, and all of this is like, I, I, I teach you through the stories because these are stories that are real and, and I can tell you. So I said, I want to relate. I want, I want to meet up with her. So I did an um, article on, on the sisters in business. And then you know what I did? 
I tagged her in it. On oh, wow. purpose. Oh, on purpose. Hmm? Oh, wow. This is getting juicy. On so I do the article. I put her name in it. I put everybody, all the people who were in it. And so then as I'm tagging her in the visual part of it, I tag her in it. She sees it. She, M she DMs me and says, this is great. I love it. And I said, thank you. And she said, tell me more about what you do. And I told her more about what I do. And she put a, um, and we did a whole spread and um, we did a whole article on her and we became friends from that day. Wow. I, didn't meet her pers I didn't meet her personally, but we became friends from that day just for one connection. So I've taken her many courses. I couldn't, I can't, uh, literally at that particular time, I could not afford her price tag for what she was offering. But the moment that I could afford her price tag, one thing she did, I did pay for it. So she, so she, so that's what I was saying too earlier, that connection. Like, you know, sometimes just booking a one-on-one -on -one with you or myself so that when you do have the money, and I tell people all the time, you know, when you do that, or we're not obviously as expensive as her, but when you do have it, I know hearts, happy Valentine's. Um, when you do have it, you can invest, right? So I love that. When I you do you have it, you can invest. Let me say this. When you, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pre preface that by saying you better find one that you can afford right now on your way to what you can afford. I'm going to start where I am. Even with my, even with what I cannot afford, I'm a stretch myself for what it is i may not be able to afford the not even just an afford i might be able to afford it but it's just not something i can do right now so if our price tag is ten thousand dollars right suppose suppose the price tag is ten thousand dollars i can't do ten thousand dollars but even if i can't do a thousand dollars even if it would stretch me stretch people pay attention to what they pay for that's why you can't get it for free why am I, why I have a class and it's not for free and I could offer to say to my friends, yeah, have it for free, but keep, because people pay attention when they pay for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I will say too, I will say too, that the more you invest, like as we speak today, it's, it shows, it shows through your speaking, the way you deliver, it shows that you invest in yourself. So <laughs> if you don't invest in yourself, it's going to show. So I would say, Make sure that you set yourself up, you pray, and you set yourself up with a coach, take some courses so that your value can go up. Because you know, it, it's, it's a win-win. It's the, the more you invest in yourself, the more value you become, the more people you meet, the rooms you get in, and that is true. So I, I think that we, it's time that we, you know, add more value so that we can add value to ourselves, our business, and we can be in those rooms, those $10,000 rooms. I believe that I'm going to be in there. Shelly's going to be there. We want you there too. And how do we do it? Our programs, because we actually have, you know, I don't know if people know my background, um, you know, Tell them. I, I, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm Nicole Streets. I'm a personal professional development coach. I help people with their personal and professional goals. So I think that where I come in at is because even myself, I struggle with mindset. Because, you know, when I was young, I had a lot of trauma. But I realized through God using me that you can overcome trauma, you can overcome things, and then, you know, your mindset can elevate despite. So I am on assignment to help people with their mindset so that when they make that shift, they can, you know, have the probability of their business being successful. Because it starts with you. Mm -hmm. It starts with us. So now I sit with Shelly and Shelly is telling me, hey, these are the people that you need to run with. These are the people. So as I sit here with you, I want you to know that I went to school, um, got my bachelor's degree in management. Uh, have my master's degree. So I have a lot of education. Now, as far as industry and continuous learning, look, I'm taking Shelly's class on Sunday. I am a lifelong learner. Every time I invest in myself, right, I get a return on investment. I'm learning something new that Shelly, you know, Shelly pays these $10,000 for these tickets, right? I'm sorry, for, for these conferences and things like that. I can't get there yet. But Shelly invested in that right is going to allow her to trickle some of that down to us she ain't gonna give us all the to get all the gems but we're going to get some of that so you know investing yourself 
seeing a value on yourself, knowing that you're worth more than 150. My assessments are 150. Your business is worth more than $150. So you should be willing to put that in, you know, it put that in yourself. So I think the value of having a coach and having courses is it's a win-win. It's not a win-lose, especially like we said, we're walking you through the steps of what you need to do. We're telling you the attraction, making sure that there's an attraction. You've done your research, like Shelly told me, I hate to learn. And then communication. Mm -hmm. And then intimacy. We're here today going live with you, answering questions, pouring into you, letting you know all about integrity, the values that we in our coaching program offers. You may not be looking for that. You may be looking for somebody that's going to take your money, like a lot of these other coaches. They don't care about you. They don't even know your name. They don't even know your, they don't even know your name. But we don't know them. We ain't going to talk about, listen, listen, find the one that, I ain't going to talk about nobody else. You find the one that resonates with you. Because I can't say that they, listen, and we could, we could probably, you know, we have our opinions on because I can't say that they take your money. Some people say they take your money, but listen if you don't apply yourself sometimes it'll think you got your money taken and then your outcome that person might be like uh -uh, i took that course and it did nothing for me but if you didn't apply yourself then maybe it wasn't it wasn't the course it could have been you but that's so, why I, you you so shelly let's just do this send them to me first mm. so the mindset so the mindset or tiffany my tiffany does mindset shift into and she has meetings every week at sister circle like we all in here mm -hmm. right like it's so mm -hmm. many mindset coaches i'm around because that's where it starts the value seeing the value in yourself it's if your so mindset true. is that i'm i'm never going to get nowhere or i'm i'm poor quality you're never going to sit in those ten thousand dollar seats but when you start to elevate and you say, I am valuable, I do have something to offer, I'm ready, then that's <laughs> when you invest in yourself. But it starts with the mindset. So how about this? They start with me, I work on them, and then we, you know, we, we lift them up. You get them in okay. the place. You get in the place of elevation. Yes. Now, some people are ready. Some people know they're ready. They've been mm -hmm. ready. They can just come, you know, but those that... Be honest with yourself. I was, you know, I said, hey, I had trauma. I had, you know, poor relationships. Because sometimes the relationships with people you around can stagnate your growth. So, you you know, you have to pray on that. And once you get, you know, your, your prayer life right and your mindset right, it's a win-win. Look, look, I'm going to be sitting in them $10,000 seats for seven. Listen, we, we, we going that and above. My thing is, this, this is it. And I, and I know you need, you 100%, all of this starts with the mindset. Because if you take, if you take, if you go into my class and when I start the class, it's going to say like, if you're not ready to work, you're in the wrong place. I give you money back. Mm. If you're not ready to work, then you're in the wrong place because I need people who's ready to work because we're going, well, this is, this is interactive. I need you to ready to work. So if you didn't get your mind, if your mindset, we're going to do some mindset stuff. Of course, we're going to talk. I'm going to get you to your mindset. But the most, of, most important thing is really like, of course, and a coach needs you to participate. <laughs> so if you go to the coach and you say, and you just sit there and you don't tell them your issues, you don't tell them what you're going through, the coach needs you to participate. The course needs you to participate. And I can go by a story. So one of the, another course I took, uh, one of the courses I took, because I take, I took courses to learn how to teach people how to do courses, right? So one of the courses I took, right? I'm in the course. It was an amazing course. I love the course. I did all of my homework. I showed up to every class. I did everything I was supposed to do, but one thing, launch. <laughs> the only thing I was supposed to do was launch. The course was a design for me to develop my course and launch the course. Mm -hmm. So I showed up for my course on time, every time, did my homework. I did everything I was supposed to do. I connected to the people I did. I worked that course. I worked it. However, I didn't launch. And you know why I didn't launch? mindset exactly what nicole is saying it was my mindset my mindset was like i'm not ready i'm not ready although i've been in business since long i ain't gonna tell y'all my age you know, but i've been in business for a long time right although i've been in business a long time although i literally and you they say if you have 10 percent more experience than someone else then you're an expert i got way more than 10 percent more experience but I didn't have the mindset. I was stuck. Mm -hmm. I was stuck in my own thoughts of myself. 
you're not ready. You're not good enough. You got it. You, I allowed, I allowed myself talk to stop me. Mm. I just took, I just, you just paid all that money, ding dong, Dixie. Girl, what is you doing, girl? So I didn't stop there. I didn't stop there. But what she's saying, mindset, her as a mindset coach, how necessary it is. You think, wait a minute, Shelly, you've been in business a long time. But you did it, did it, did it, all of those things. Mm -hmm. But there's times, there's things that happen in your life that shift your mindset sometimes, right? That's right. So even though I know I know what I'm doing, even though I know and all this other stuff, you know, but I had been going, you know, life trauma things why wow. insecurities I, I, all that stuff pops up up in you right that's so, so true i didn't launch the course didn't and and i'm like all right you spent that money i made some great relationships though shout out to shout out to them i love them i love you oh well, uh, that's good Rafia. yeah Rafia, that's Rafia, good. Rafia, i love you that's that's my girl anyway yeah. so i made the best relationships but mindset so you can't i can't blame the course i can't blame the course right you see what I'm saying? The teacher was outstanding, amazing. Uh, oh my goodness! Everything about it was miraculous. But if I wasn't in the, I wasn't right and ready. It wasn't my time because I wasn't ready mindset wise, right? Well, let me so I you, had to. Let me ask you really quick. When did you realize, Shelly, that? When did you self assess and say this is why? Because I'm sure at that time. You was just in your feelings, but did you later reflect and say, hey, because we talk about that in the sister circle, reflection. Because sometimes when we don't reflect, we don't consider, well, was it that I was in a bad relationship? Not that you're making excuses, but it could have been some things that you can say, well, this or that at that time. But now, here's what I'm going to do next time to make sure. So did you have a point in time when you was re when you was able to be honest with yourself, reflect on it, not just say, oh, I didn't do it, that's it, I'm done, I'll never do it again. Did you go back and revisit and say, wait a minute, I just missed a couple steps or maybe I had some things going on, but that doesn't mean that I can't do it again. So did you have that moment? So I reflected and I felt like what I needed was more coaching. So I got more coaching. And I got and I took more courses. So what I did was arm myself with what I needed. All I did was I went back and I took another course. And I went back and took another course. And then I took a whole bunch of courses that I was developing myself. I was I was getting in and it was like, wait a minute, I'm getting in line. I didn't know necessarily when the time was going to happen. So when I took uh yes. I took two more courses um to learn how to do courses, two more of those. Um, and they were very expensive courses. And, like and I took them. Are you happy that you did that? Because I, I, mean, yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, I think it's better that you went back and reflected and said, I'm not ready. And you was honest with yourself. I mean, you know, that's something I sh a lot of people struggle with. It's like you have to give yourself time and grace to grow and to say, hey, for me, I'm different. I just do it. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'll be embarrassed to them. You know, like me, like you was like, remember we had that event? And you was like, you pay how much? You should have called me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now I know. But, but I just, you, it wasn't a beautiful event. It was a beautiful event. Well, thank you. But, but I, was, I was just wondering, like, you know, sometimes people are, are honest. And, you know, just because you can't do it now doesn't mean never. You actually do yourself grace when you go back, you reflect, like we said, do an assessment on ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that, and if you can't do it yourself, we can help you with that, right, Shelly? But mm -hmm. it's good to have a second person in because sometimes we're hard on ourselves, right? I call you when I'm hard on myself. I call Lisa when I'm hard on myself. And Lisa's that second person. I don't pay her that. She, you know, she's because she, everybody doesn't have a family member or friend that they can vent to. When business, in business, you're going to go through so much. So even the day to day in life, you're going to go through stuff. So imagine having a business where you have to deal with other people. You need those people. So if you don't want to invest in a coach, you know, I just say have that person. But I, I was just asking you, Shelly, you know, Sometimes a, a, a no right now doesn't mean a never. And so I love mm -hmm. how you're able to tell us how you 
you know, you, you didn't fail, you, you, you didn't execute, right? But then you went back, you did a reflection on yourself, you didn't beat down on yourself, you didn't say, no, this means never, I'm done, I'm broken. You said, no, how can I perfect this? How can I become better? And now you're, you're, look at you, right? So I feel like some people, and I'm guilty of this too, Give yourself grace. It's going to happen. As long as you are aligned, like you said, in prayer, it's going to align perfectly. So I just feel like, you know, we want people to know that we have to reflect too as coaches. We have to reassess. We have to yeah. invest in courses because we're not always ready. If I say I have, I have, I have been asked to speak from a multi-million dollar grant company this week. And I'm waiting for her to send me her calendar, but I have to prepare. I have to be ready. I know I'm going to be ready, but I have to be ready. I have to show up. And so I just love how you, you know, you prepare, you were ready and you didn't give up. Even if I fumble a little bit on this live that I'm going to do with her, that's okay. I prepared, I studied, I watched videos, I did everything I could. And I feel like that's what you did, Shelly. You did that. And that's part of being an adult. That's a part of growth and being transparent. So I love that. We only had 15 minutes. Y'all know I got the wraps. I love Shelly. This is personal with her. Uh, I want uh, you to tell us about, you've been there for me, Shelly. Like you've been that person I could call, like, you know, you helped me with so much. So I, I it's an honor to be here with you today. But I, I, I know we have 15 minutes. I have a 10 o'clock client and I know you have a 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell us about what you have going on because I'm excited about it. I can't wait. I'm a lifetime learner. I am eager to learn. I love learning. And I'm going to spend the best a hundred dollars that I could spend with someone that has invested thousands and thousands of dollars in learning, thousands and thousands of dollars in conferences. You know, she she has put in the work so we can trust her. We know that she's reliable. We know that she um, um, has the expertise to deliver um, tools to us that are going to help us elevate. So, Shelly, without, without further ado, I would love for you to tell us about what you have going on. I sure, sure shall. But before I do that, I want everybody to know that in 2016, I launched a course and um, I put all my all into it and I did everything. I put everything into 2016, right? It, it was an amazing a concept. Everything about it was amazing. But to me, I thought it failed. One person showed up, but I didn't fail. One person showed up and said, can I give you my money now? Can I? They were they jumped with joy to give me my money, and I call it a failure because one person showed up. Mm -hmm. I learned the most valuable lesson in the world when I should have served that one person with high value. I should have served her. I should have said, "Thank you, God, for that one person." Can I? So God had to do some. Was that? I'm sorry, Shelly. When you done, before you get into what we're gonna talk about, I just want to give you a two second testimony about that. So finish telling me about the the. Go ahead, finish. Okay, so. I, I say that to say that um, in it, but I did that particular course without a coach. Without, so I launched that by just based off of what I thought I knew from picking and choosing and picking and choosing what I was listening to and not having investing into a coach or a course. So when I launched it in 2016 without investing in a coach first, what felt like like a failure really wasn't a failure but if i had the right coaches someone would say take that girl money <laughs> take take her money and serve her because you didn't fail that means you have to just do some more mm. marketing you just have mm. to do some more marketing mm. and you and, and i needed more coaching so from 2016 to uh 2020 i just i invested in all those good things i did what i needed to do and necessary to 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 grow my business so you have to invest in coaching it is it is necessary okay. it's, i'm not saying that because it's me you don't I, i'm not telling you to go with me and i'm not telling you to go in the cold but i would say it's the best suggestion for you however if we're not the voices for you if we're not the people you resonate with i promise you you need a coach you, mm. you need a coach i just you you need you need you, you just 
you you need a coach you need you know you need a lot of things but the coach is the pivotal because we when you when you hire a coach so much more comes out of it especially people like us we're we're christians we, you know we have integrity we won't go above and beyond you're not it's not just about your money with us it's really like our passion but shelly i just wanted to say to you i'm i pray that I see you in so many big rooms. I mean, you're already in big rooms. You're amazing. Everybody loves you. But I see you even going further. And I want to tell you something. When you when you said that you gave that, money, that lady her money back or you, you just didn't do it, right? I went to church this weekend. And I just want you to, to know, you never know who's in the room. Mm -hmm. I went to church this weekend. It was a brother R's birthday. He wanted to have his celebrate the birthday in church. I was like, that's cute. You need that. But, yeah, like I'm still in it. Church parties, right? <laughs> but hey, Mr. Nate, hey, Wonder, but hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and staying tuned in. Um, and so it wasn't that many of us. But when I tell you his mom, you would have thought it was his mom put on a show as if that place was packed. Yes. And me and Jan was in there like, oh, we're going to get this place packed. Because we saw the value, mm -hmm. even though she did not at that time have the people, the presence of God was in there. Mm -hmm. The people, the, 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 the spirit and everything was in there. All she needed was some marketing. All she needed was us to go door to door and talk to some people. You know, and so mm -hmm. you had the seed. It's just that you just needed some watering. You just needed some help. You just needed some other things. And that's where coaching comes in at too, because you may be able to cut the hair. You may be able to make the butter. I'm just using an example. You may be able to, to do the marketing, mm -hmm. the skill. You have that skill, but are you skilled in marketing? Are you skilled in this area? And sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves and bring a reinforcement, a coach, a consultant or someone, a mentor, whatever it is to help us. So it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to say, hey, I do need to hire someone or I do need help in this area. And I just said that to you, Shelly. I'm so glad that you're transparent and reflecting on that because mm -hmm. the lesson is even if it was one person, you said I should have gave her the same service as if it was a million people in there. So sometimes we trick ourselves because that could have been a millionaire. And then she could have said, Hey, or, or, or I, I could have been part of her development. It, it was so, so many things within that could have happened. And yeah. I, and, and, and because I was all up in my feelings and saying, oh, no, only one. I'm Shelly Shell. See, ego. I'm Shelly Shell. Why only one person? But listen, it wasn't that. And I don't know marketing. Marketing is my love. But what it was is I'm, I shifted my my skill sets like i've shifted people didn't know me for business they knew me for urban expression so i was shifting so i didn't even give them a chance to understand the new shift so i can't shift from hey what's up everybody this is shelly shell with the word on the street to hey now i'm going to teach you a course so there was a shift that needed to happen and there was a, a nuances that needed to happen to me to get you there so but still one person showed up so i had the right idea I had the right concept. Once she was there, I sold, I mean, all I had to do was, was say what we were doing. And she said, can I sign up now? So the, it was there and it still is. It's still there today. Now it's manifesting now. But I could have said since that day, at, after that point, I did. I went into a little thing. It's like that insecurity thing. But that happens to everybody. It happens to people. And, and, that's, get and that's where the reflection part comes in, Shelly. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. us reflecting, and some people don't even reflect. And I love that when you did reflect, you didn't beat up on yourself. You said, oh, okay, I just missed a step or two. And that's it. And oh, no, I beat up that. on myself. Oh, no, 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 I did. <laughs> I beat all the way up on myself. Yes, I did. It took me It took me years to get back in the saddle. I was like, uh-uh, all that money I invested. Oh, no, I'm not doing this. I did. I beat up on myself. And then I and then I said, all right, that's enough of your pity party, girl. Go get it together. Go go get your courses. Go take your course. So it took me some time to get Sorry. It. You are? So so but, yes, I dropped something. Sorry. But it I, took me I, some time. It took me it took me time. But the thing is, I didn't I never have given up. I've never even even if the process was slower than what we think it was, I never gave up because I always knew what I was called to do. I already know what God was already calling me to do. And I already knew that what I have inside of me is for someone else. And my why is big. My why is bigger than that quit. My, my why is big. I got this big why and my why is so much bigger than that. So I had to keep going. And here we are to today. 
but I have to tell you the story because you're you're gonna think, oh wait, we got it together. No, no, I, I launched this already. I had the most amazing thing, put a lot of money to it, and it didn't work. It did work. I keep saying it didn't work, but it did work. I would have made my money back in that one person. She had her money right there, ready to pay. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> In our no, hands, we and then we block our we block our blessings. So now we know that but do we nobody, block our blessings or do we wait though, on God? We wait on God, and even with the lives, like so, to somebody real quick to somebody that's just starting out, people don't know you, right? So they have to get. I'm even still building, I, you know. But show up, show up, keep showing up, keep showing up, even if it's one person or nobody. Show up anyway, because you gotta believe it before anybody else does. And so, Shelly, we got uh, eight minutes. Just want you to ke keep the track of the time because okay, yeah, so you have, it, you you have, to the, you you have an this. announcement or mm -hmm. something you want to talk about that's going okay, on. Okay, yeah. yes. So, everybody, if you're listening, while you're listening, um, to, uh, on Sunday, February 18th, 7 p.m., is Relationships to Revenue, AI Strategies and Tools to Monetize Your Social Media. And I mean, that's a big old title. But what that means is we, we get to know each other we're on the social media it's way more than just getting some likes and some follows it's way more than that what are you doing to monetize all those relationships we're going to talk about it and we're using ai tools and strategies to do it so it can be done by you it you don't have to have something special you don't have to be something special you don't have to be a singer dancer songwriter or whatever you can be you and whoever whoever you are just use the relationship you have so that's sunday at 7 p.m and you can go to relationships to revenue.com relationships to revenue.com or you can just click the link in my bio and you can register it is a fee it's 97 dollars. it's not free you know why it's not free because people don't pay attention for something they don't to something they don't pay for they won't appreciate it it's not free and i've given enough free knowledge and game to all of the people i know and love i've i've done free i've done free for so long but today and moving forward there's going to be a fee and and, and there is because the knowledge i paid i i i'm I've paid. So I, I sold a, my seeds. I have a question too. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, why do people need this course? Because I feel like I'm it seems like things are just moving faster and faster and faster. Mm -hmm. So why do, why would somebody want to take this course and, and why do they need it? I I know why, but No, I'm I'm gonna talk to the people who I who my thoughts are for it when I thought about it. I talk to uh, many dis different business owners and they say, I just don't do social media. And I'm like, but you have a business, right? So it's for you. I need you to get into the mindset of I love social media because if you have a business, a podcast, a radio show, a live stream, and you sitting here saying you don't do social media, and you, but maybe you don't know how. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe this is for you. And what about the book? that you had because I have a client that we share and it just so happened that I'm coaching her on mindset and and you know getting to the point where she wants to be and work on some personal goals we also share the book that that you have um that I'm going to be getting on master interviews and could you tell us a little bit about the book and we only have four minutes but just about the book and 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 why you oh, and close you? us out close us out with Close us, tell us about the book and close us out with, again, where we can get, where we can register for your class. Uh, the book is Interview Your Way to Instagram Growth. And we're doing exactly just that. We're here. We're, we're showing up on live. And why are we doing it? Because it, it leads to, first of all, we're adding value. That's what, as an introvert, and, and I'm talking to those who feel like, I don't know how to do this for the introvert. I have never wanted to be seen. God put me here. So I'm talking to the introverts. You can do interviews. You could you could just sit here and listen to somebody if you had to and interject and ask a question. <laughs> Who, what, when, where, why? So that that's what the book is all about. Meaning, it's but that's the way you can show up on social media. That's one of the easier ways as an introvert or as a podcast or radio person to do it. That's the easiest way, and that's available on Amazon.com. Interview your way to Instagram growth. I am Shelly Shell Williams. Just in case you want to go look it up, it is available. If you if you have a business, if you're a podcast and all that, it is for you especially if you're an introvert because i'm speaking to somebody that's speaking to my language i'm an introvert and then uh the course 100 percent is february 18th that's this sunday 7 p.m it is 97 dollars. go to relationships to revenue.com or click the link in my bio and i have a uh, i have a free checklist i have a free checklist but you can dm me 
And if you DM me right now, I will give you my free checklist. I will send you the link and you can follow the link to the free checklist. It's a free checklist. It, it is um, how to get celebrity interviews, how I was able to attract celebrity interviews and what you have to do, the steps you need to take. It's a free checklist. You can DM me and I will send it to you. If you don't DM me, I won't send it to you. <laughs> Just plain and simple. You got to put the work in. So if you DM me, I will send you the link so you can sign up to get this checklist. All right. Put, Here. put a heart in the chat if you're uh, attending this class, if you're going to go register. I know I'm I'm coming. And treat yourself. It's Valentine's Day. Invest in yourself. Even if you, you know, it's something new. It's always something you can learn. You may meet somebody in the course or you, you, you just never know. So make sure that uh, you... Do what Shelly said. Relationships to revenue this Sunday. What time is it? 7 p.m. Relationships to revenue is on at 7 p.m. this Sunday. Okay. And, and you can go to my bio and you can you can click on it and you can sign up. But if you want the free checklist, which is a celebrity attraction checklist, it's free. And you can DM me. And the only way to get it is for you to DM me. I won't I won't reach out to you. I won't do anything. You got to DM me and I'll send it to you. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But that was amazing. I mean, I just feel like we covered it all. We walked you through the steps. I'm, we're closing, but we talked about attraction, making, making sure that you attract the right coach. Um, and and how can you attract the coach to well, well, can I stop you on this attracting the right coach? I want to say to people, you don't you can use more than one coach. It is possible. Nicole and I are coaching the same person because we coach in different areas. You have to have different coaches for different things, but go ahead. Yes. And so right, that part. And then we have communication, making sure that the person that you do decide there's a good communication relationship um that you ask the right questions. They shouldn't be telling you can't ask that. And then intimacy, actually signing a contract and working together. And then there are steps after that. Now, there's a whole bunch of steps we can talk about next time. But this is the strategy behind the brand. Uh, we come here, we're going to be coming here every week to provide strategies to help you be better in business. We'll have different topics. Today, it was relation, relationships, um, coaches, and um, courses. Um, how 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 these strategies can help you when you hire a coach, um, when you um, invest in yourself. We talked about all those things. So just make sure that, you know, you understand if you have the mindset, you can do anything. Then you have the vision. We can help you with the vision. We help you with the plan. We walk you on the journey, and then we assess, and we evaluate, and we come up with a, the next goal. So we are available. Our books are open. You can contact I think somebody was calling her. You can contact. I know. Okay, you, she's going to call me back. But you can contact me. Um, you can DM me if you're interested. Um, if you know somebody, you want to give them a coaching session, you know their business is struggling, you know their personal life is struggling, you can um, pay for a service for them. And don't forget the story behind the brand, February 24th. Uh, we're going to be helping the youth. We are looking for donations and sponsors. So if you watch this video and you find in your heart that you want to be a part of helping our youth, we, um, we're celebrating um, Tidy Branch, who uh, has dedicated 20 years of service of helping this community with a youth basketball program. So it's going to be packed. There's going to be a lot of people there. Ladies come. Tickets is $10. Kids are free. And that's it. I'm out. Thank you, Shelly. Love you. Love y'all. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of you. I love you. All right, y'all. Um, uh, the strategy behind the brand. We'll see you next week. All right. Peace. Bye. Bye.